what's going on everyone so in today's video i'm gonna talk about a topic that's been on my mind for a while now and it's probably gonna be a short video because there's really not much to say about the topic other than what the title is which is you go will never be the same so with that being said without further ado let's begin starting off by saying one of the things a lot of people always complain about Yu-Gi-Oh! is that Yu-Gi-Oh! is not a balanced game. Yu-Gi-Oh! is not a fair game. Yu-Gi-Oh! is not what it will be was in 2002, where you can just normal summon set one pass. It's not what it will be in what it was in 2013, where you can do a lot of one for one plays and strategically be outright beat the opponent. In life, things have a natural progression. Things go up, things go down, some things stay stagnant, but for, for the most part, nothing stays the same. You as a person would never stay the same. Your family will never stay the same. You may keep some of the similar traits, some of the similar qualities, but for the most part, as a core, you evolve and elevate as a person. And this is just the natural progression of life. Um, Dar pretty much basic Darwinism. Um, and Yu-Gi-Oh! follows the same trend. You guys gotta realize, the game's been out since in the United States since 2002, and it's been out in 19, since 19, 1998 in Japan. We've had, we got over a thousand Yu-Gi-Oh cards. The game just made a 17 year anniversary, anniversary for the US, and I believe it made its 25 year anniversary, no, or 22nd whatever year in Japan where they did a big wall of Yu-Gi-Oh, they did a Yu-Gi-Oh movie to celebrate Yu-Gi-Oh lasting as an entity that long. So, you know, while I rag on the game a lot for not being balanced, while I definitely rag on the game a lot for being crappy in its own right, I've come to the conclusion it will never be balanced. It will never be what it used to be. And that's just something we all have to accept as players. But I still enjoy it for what it does. Now, what it does for me, you guys may ask, Yu-Gi-Oh! brings me joy. Yu-Gi-Oh! is a stress reliever. Yu-Gi-Oh! gets my mind off of real life. I like playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I think Yu-Gi-Oh is really fun. I think Yu-Gi-Oh is something that, um, or just having a hobby in general, is something that can just get your mind off of the real world. And, you know, moving forward, if you guys have not seen my block format video yet, check that out. I don't know if I'm gonna release it before or after this video, but essentially in that block format video, I pretty much gave up my reasons on why Yu-Gi-Oh can never be balanced without set rotation. And that's essentially because at the constant rate Yu-Gi-Oh is going right now, you just have to outpower free of everything or implement dumb new rules to pretty much overshadow what Konami done in the past, like which is what Master Rule 4 did, and then make some another rule that can be abused for them to make money. So at this point, I feel like, you know, moving forward, they're gonna do that. You might as well just implement set rotation. But I'm gonna say that for the video if you guys wanna check it out. Link will be somewhere in the iCard. Just click the iCard and you can find the link in there. But effectively guys um the game will never be the same and that's not necessarily a bad thing it's a good thing change is scary at first change is something that we all hate to go through change is uncomfortable but guess what change is needed for success so you know what while i do complain once again while i do complain about Yu-Gi-Oh a lot while i do have in my opinion valid points on why i think Yu-Gi-Oh as a game is not dying but it's on a decline I, ha I came to the conclusion it'll never be the same, and I still enjoy it. So with all that being said, man, post your thoughts and opinions about this video in the comment section down below. I mean, this video is pretty much more of a statement, pretty much helping you guys realize that the game we love, or what we loved, and how, how, it, how it was once was in the past, it'll never be that again. Like, you're never gonna get another format that's like 2002. You're gonna get something similar, but it'll never be that way. And me, the person who I am, I loved the 2014, 2013 era, but that was the era where I was just kicking butt in the game and I had a lot of time to play test. And, and that was one of the best eras for the game in my personal opinion. I had to come to the conclusion that we'll never get another one of those eras, which is why I'm so out of touch with the game right now. Like a lot of my ideas and styles that I try to implement while they work on the base, when they get into the nitty gritty of it, the, every deck is just pretty much autopilot. You just have to know not, when and where not to mess up and you're good to go. But effectively, guys, um, if you guys want to be competitive in this game, just study the meta, man. Just study the meta. You guys will be good. So 
Once again, man, post your thoughts and opinions about this video slash statement in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you haven't. This is Innovation YGO, and I'm signing out. Peace.